Hey guys, today going to review with a bad ring. As you can see right, this is um my favorite previous video got the KO Danguka. I want to find out if the original one could be patched on the KO version. Let's go ahead to see the instruction manual. So because that series they come with the actual back wing is the actual black one with um, full set and um, I thought that one is a uh, second hand so you'll see the menu is not brand new well the basic transformation is like uh, pretty similar and something like uh, because it's a uh, pretty much expensive figure, so it transform like uh, needs to be a bit like concentrate. Let's go ahead to see the figure. All right, for the figure itself, it's a uh, dark grey. Hmm, first impression, pretty cool. The solid figure. And they come with the thing for attach with the Dankuka and um, spare hands, which is a second layer with the wing. Also, the base at the back. Yeah, the base at the back. And there's an actual wing. I'm not sure they did the uh, color coding on the plastic or not, but it looks alright. Okay, let's make a closer look of the at first. Alright, as long as I can see the eyes and the head. The joint, so I pretty cool. Only the transformation of because of the head is a bit rather they on the hand. So so far so good for the joint of the loose. And I wonder if this might, might be the die cast on it. Well, decoration, but uh, it's different to most level. Overall, so uh, let's um, attach a backpack to see it. Attach a backpack is very simple. See the slot right there. In, not pay, and the tail could be leveled up like so. This figure definitely need to stand. Otherwise, I don't think they can secure it to stand. Even they got the giant feet to support, and they doesn't come with any weapons. After with the backpack, the weight is a bit more on the top part. We are do some calculation for the head itself, ball joint, and the hand right here. It can bend up to almost 180. And the leg as well because nothing rather and also because of transformation they can bend their leg like this as well also you can bend the feet like so let's talk about the wing you can do the angle pivot as well which is nice 
somehow have a closer look. It's pretty much looks a bit like a ninja. Uh, let's go ahead for transformation. The easier, just like the attack to that person. And then, put the, like, uh, this, uh, area of the head, where you do just flip it over with that section. And twist the head like so. Alright, after that, you have to make sure the pin on top and the head just slot like this. And cover it. And next will be the shoulder, Pick this up, and then um, they got the cover right here, and then um, just slot it in there, like so, and then they will combine the backpack together. Alright, so up to this step, you just flip the shoulder, and then which is that one, you have to rotate it. And don't forget the cover again because I have to flip the arms up like so and then while you see that section which is the they launch as our weapons after that we just like to combine it it will be the front section of the back thing is done you will see it's quite solid. You see the symbol right here as well. And before we attach the backpack, we can like uh, just transform the leg section as well. And all because these have to transform, so it puts the double joint on it. I've never seen any like uh, transformation like that before. Might be some transformer spin like this. Which is way up to this step and go ahead with the backpack. For the tail section, they got three pin right here, which is attached on the back section as well. But before that, we got to be secure in the back section. Like so. And then uh, that will be the top and back section. Attach together, there will be lots of tape. There you go. Of course the wing they can like a uh, an angle pivot to adjust as well. So we can fit this. I'm not sure that one is pretty much for uh, this mode or just like for the robot transform. I'm pretty happy with they got the angle piece with that. But uh, might be the shoulder and the head together looks like too long. Anyway. Because uh, they only come with uh, some and as a success accessory, but so in like nothing else at all. Maybe that's the only winning weapon for them. So... What we're up to right now should be combined with the Danguga. Let me get the Danguga over here first. Here we go. But before that, that should be using this mount to attach together like so. It will be locked in place up to it. And then the leg you have to fit it like that. 
Also, look at the slot, the side, you will see it, the screen in here. Also, the attach on the left as well. Make sure everything is stable. But, uh, doesn't pretty much like the slot in this case. Because uh, that fashion is only like the slot is not bad. You can just like hold it as a side or like this. Anyway, maybe just like hold it as our position. Make a wing to the like this. Get the angle. And it's easier to attach. Why now all we got is the attach the wing to right. The OVA section. Even the cannon as well have to be de attached. While everything done, so those three slots will be attached with the backpack together. Like so, let's see if I can put the back slot in by one go or not. And then have to be secured. Here you go! Dankuka with a bad wing combined. Maybe the bad wing is so dark as well, can't really tell. What do you think about the back part with a bad wing? Um, for myself, just feel like not bad, but I still prefer the original one more better. Here you go, that's the way how they attach with the main weapon. Oh, you see it. And then, um, everything will be attached on it. But uh, what I got this Batwing original, pretty much the price goes with the the old Dango girl as well. Maybe I would like to display in like a uh, individual, like separator. And you will see how the whole thing are attached together. Somehow the back wings like too big. I think. Um, maybe I can compress thing with the actual the OVA wing. The length about similar. As well as um the suppose the that wing is metallic um color. But pretty close with the actual color what I got the KO. And um the Danguka itself doesn't have any blue color. If I don't separate pretty much it look like actual backpack with the Danguka. As you can see right here is a bread thing is still on the round table. I wonder if that's the only pose I can do it. Because um it's hard to do any other pose with the heavy backpack right there. And uh, you will see the giant feet right there could like uh, support the whole body. As long as you get the right angle of the pose, it'll be fine. We will put the Dan Kuga for the size compressing. Like that. Like that. Even which is here on the round table still not tall enough for it. Alright, you can see right now is a that ring compressing size with the Dan Kuga. I wonder it's just like might be half size up to the back wing's head but uh, also don't forget the tiny one right here so that will be the all different size you got right there all right today is up to here thanks for watching see ya